So last night, my wife and I were driving around. We went to dinner, and for some strange reason, we took the long way home. We ended up at a shopping center. And we're walking around the store, and I see this guy with a cart full of stuff. And I said, hey, do you shop on, or do you sell on Amazon? And he was like, yeah, 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 I do. You probably know who I am. I'm like, well, I really don't do Amazon, but I know some people that do. So he tells us his story. He's like a multi-million dollar producer on Amazon. I don't even know his records, but he's wrote tons of books, and he's a master at the game. Master, master at the game. He's been doing it 20 years, and he has an unbelievable story. And the reason I want to talk about that right now is limiting beliefs. So he said that in his industry, people always say this and that about they can't, or they don't have the same opportunity, or they can't find something to buy to sell, and they can't make money on Amazon. And he's told us that he'll stop his purchasing from a certain place and he'll go to a whole new store and buy stuff or a whole new item and start a whole new trend. Because it's not the product, it's not the advertising, it's not the dollar amount on the item. The problem is that people don't have the right thinking to create the lifestyle that they want. And so just to prove this theory, he said in Texas he's going to go do a whole new project with a whole new marketing strategy just to prove his success rate is not because of the product he sells, but it's because of his thinking. When you unlock limiting beliefs, when you really think that the world is yours and you can do anything you want, everything opens up to you. And so it was amazing to hang out with this guy. We spent like an hour, at least an hour, talking to him in the store. And then he's telling us all these things about the past 20 years and how he's come up and his drive and the, the success story of this guy in the Amazon industry sounds exactly like anybody in any industry that's made it really big. There's a few things that they all have in common. First off, he wasn't prideful about anything. He started at the bottom. He told us he had had success before in real estate. He lost all his money, went through depression. So starting at the bottom, you're going to hear that theme over and over again if you read books or follow people's stories or listen to that biography. Once you hit bottom, there's nowhere to go but up. And something happens when you humble yourself, when you're willing to do things that you wouldn't do before. And that oftentimes keeps a lot of people from their true potential because they're proud and they say what they won't do. And I've coached people before in certain businesses and we tell them the steps they need to do. Here's steps one through 10 to get you going, to get you started. And they'll say, well, I can't do this or I can't do that. I'm only doing this. I'm only going to do that. And so you got to be willing to go further than what you used to do. All right, so to finish up, limiting mindsets telling me about what you won't do is not going to get you your goal. You've got to be able to be proactive and know that if you do a little bit more than you did yesterday, you're going to have a greater result. And so going forward in your own life and in your business adventures, think, what can I do to get to my end goal? And you always have to have the end goal in mind. So many people get stuck on today instead of thinking about what they can do today positive to work towards their 10 year whatever goal go to bed a little bit smarter every night every day consistently it's going to have a great impact on your life and so when you have those limiting mindsets out of your life and replace them with abundance mindsets knowing that everything you want is out there and there's always more than enough to satisfy whatever it is you're going after it's much easier to get to your goals. Matter of fact, you're probably not gonna to get to your goal if you have any limiting mindset beliefs. And so with that, keep striving after excellence. I want you to go out there and crush it this week, whatever you're going after. Take heed to abundance all around you. Nature has no lack. There's no lack in nature. God made enough for everyone to go around. And follow us on Sitting is Not a Sport. Sin is Global. Come check it out, see what we're building here. We're helping people get their goals using skills that they already have and removing the fear and limiting mindset beliefs and helping people go after that life, dream lifestyle. So thanks for watching.